Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about our map clamp and our idle air clamp feature in our ECM Link software. So the map clamp is going to be used if we have a mass airflow sensor that we're going to be tuning with. And we're going to be reaching the upper limits of how much airflow can actually register and report. That can be a dangerous condition because we can lean out or not have the appropriate amount of spark timing. So we want to avoid that. The math clamps can actually allow us to set a certain amount of frequency that we can switch over to a basic speed density operation. We're going to be going over speed density itself as a tuning uh, technique and process in the next video, but this is going to be just an in-between between our actual math comp that we've covered in the last video and full speed density. We're also going to be taking a look at our idle air clamp feature that's going to be used on a mass airflow sensor car that's equipped with a vent to atmosphere blowout valve. That's going to give us a way that we can actually clamp down on the reported air mass when the blowout valve blows off. And in that situation, it's actually going to be having too much airflow being reported and causing a rich condition and stalling conditions. So the idle air clamp feature is going to allow us to avoid those issues. I'm going to go over how to work with that as well. So let's get into this video so we can check out all these features. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at our math clamp feature as well as our idle air clamp using our ECM Link software. So the math clamp is going to give us the ability to switch over into a basic speed density operation once we get to the upper limits of what the mass airflow sensor is able to flow and register. So if we jump back in here to our math comp, that's what we've covered in our previous video, we know that the mass airflow sensor is going to be registering a hertz value. That hertz value is going to be associated with a certain amount of air mass or airflow coming into the engine. So if we're taking a look at a 1G DSM, 2000 hertz is about the limitation of a 1G DSM mass airflow sensor. That's going to correlate to roughly 28 pound per minute. If we multiply 28 pound per minute by a factor of 10, that converts it into a horsepower reading, so roughly 280 horsepower. If we're talking about a 2G DSM, the factory mass airflow sensor can register about 2700 hertz. That's going to register about uh, 50 pound per minute or roughly 500 horsepower. If we're talking about an EVO 8 mass airflow sensor, we're going to see that it goes up to your about 3000 hertz and it's going to be registering roughly 66 pound per minute or around 660 horsepower. So depending on what kind of mass airflow sensor we're using, we don't want to go and reach the limitation of the mass airflow sensor uh, air mass registration or else we're not going to be able to add fuel and have our spark timing follow along accordingly. So that's going to be the same kind of thing if you're used to working with speed density tuning and let's say a standalone and you have a three bar map sensor which is good to around 28, 29 pounds of boost. If you start to run 30 or 35 pounds of boost you're no longer going to be able to uh, add fuel and pull spark timing as you get up into higher boost levels. It's going to essentially uh, not follow along with the increased airflow coming into the engine. That can be a definite problem so we want to avoid that and that's what a mass a math clamp here feature is going to be allowing us to do. We can actually stop the registration of the air mass coming from the mass airflow sensor right about that point where it's going to be maxing out the mass airflow sensor. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.